Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel, Empower In. So in this video, we're going over a nursing exam or NCLEX style questions related to the medication ACE inhibitors. So we've already uploaded most of the video, actually all of the videos over ACE inhibitors. So if you haven't seen them, don't worry, just look below in the description section and you can find them all there. But this question is going to be a question that you might get from your patients. This could literally be a real life scenario. When you become a nurse, if you're not one already, you will know that patients ask you all kinds of things. And this could be a question that you might see. So go ahead and try to get the question right and let's see how you do. So let's get started. Question number four. The hypertensive client taking Acupril asks the nurse if he can still drink alcohol while taking his medication. The nurse appropriately responds with which of the following? A, you should limit your alcohol intake to 24 ounces per day. B, limitations in alcohol consumption depends with your average blood pressure reading. C, you should avoid drinking alcohol when on this medication because it can increase the side effects of the medication, causing further decreases in your blood pressure. Or D, as long as you are able to bring your blood pressure up after lying down with your legs elevated on two pillows, you can drink as much as eight ounces per day. This is a great example of the type of question that you, the nurse, might get from your patient. He or she may have been too embarrassed and reluctant to ask his doctor this question, but they will ask you. You will discover, if you haven't already, that you, the nurse, represents a picture of trustworthiness to your patient. Always seek proof of the information, though, that you are giving your patient by researching as necessary. Become familiar with the tools at your fingertips. For instance, use the Lexicomp tab on your Pixis machine when researching a drug if you have it or whichever resource your hospital or facility provides you. When you look up the actions and side effects of the drug to explain to your patient, it is a good idea to print it out for him so that they can have a copy in their hands. Never ever feel bad about having to look up a drug. It is really impossible to mentally store all of the information on all of the drugs you have to administer. And never give a medication that you know nothing about. In this question, Answer C is correct. Explain to him that alcoholic drinks should be avoided when on ACE inhibitors because it increases the potency of the drug and could cause further decrease in blood pressure. This is a teachable moment and you could also bring out pointers like do not use salt substitutes or potassium supplements while taking quinapril unless your doctor has told you to. And you could also tell them to avoid getting up too fast from a sitting or lying position because he or she may feel dizzy or lightheaded. You can include this in your fall prevention education as well. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and all of the videos going over the medication class ACE inhibitors. My team and I really enjoyed creating this video for you. So we're going to be uploading a bunch more videos, but if you don't mind, if you have a specific video request, please let us know what's important to you. This is how we choose all of our topics. They all come from you guys. The more I see a specific video request, the more I feel like I need to create a video for that or I need to put that on the list or higher up on the list. So, all right guys, um, I cannot wait to see you again very soon and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. I love you, bye.